All right, then. Glad to have you joining us again. It's still Business Breakfast on iBrand Television. Let's get talking now. Let's take a quick look at what's playing out in the Nigerian capital market. We're seeing a downward trend in trading activities. We don't know why, but not to worry. I have the right man with me in the house to give us more insight into that. Before we get talking, let me tell you. The Nigerian's equities market on Thursday continued its movement in the red zone by 0.43%, losing $252 billion. Um, Naira, as the stock investors cautiously trade in line with earnings reports as well as corporate benefits. The, Nigerians, the Nigerian Exchange Limited All Shell Index and equities market capitalization decreased further to 130,736.08 basis points and 58.653 trillion Naira, respectively. Meanwhile, market positive return year to date decreased further to 38.73%. However, Zenith Bank, GT Co, UBA, Assets Holdings and Transcop shares were actively traded as, invest as investors in 8,908 deals exchanged um, with shares valued at 487 um, Naira, 772.2 um, shares worth 15.63 billion Naira. I did make mention of him earlier and uh, he's with me right here in the studio Ambrose Amadion, Chief Research Officer Invest Data Consult. Good morning. It's so good to have you join me in the studio again yes, this week. Sir. Yes, sir. thanks for having you me. You look amazing as always. Thank you. All right, let's get talking now. The market's still in the red zone. You told me, was it not Wednesday, that um, I think it was on Tuesday, if not Wednesday, that we're going to be, yeah, I think it was on Tuesday, that the market is going to continue on a mixed um, trading session. But here, here we have three, th um, the, 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 um, three days after the holidays, uh, we're still on the red. What do you have to say? What are the sentiments and the fundamentals responsible for this yeah i would say that uh, if you still look at the market in turn as which we noted with the market uh, breadth i feel that market is still very very much missed all right we're seeing a positive uh, market you know buyers and sellers in the market that miss is still there the good thing is that uh, as we're entering there already the peak of any season mm -hmm. you know that all eyes are still on the banks yes for those that have come so far this will remain missed i've got to remain missed and also the payout also have remained also missed investors are still kind of what we call a uh, portfolio shuffling and also set retention but for me, you know, Nigeria investors should understand that no market remains an uptrend. Mm. We have seen Nigeria market since 2003, mm. you know, has been, 2023 has been an uptrend. Mm. No, but market slowing down at this time, it's not that the market is bad at this point, well, market should panic, no. That is that investors are trying to restrategize where to go from here. Mm. And also, at the, as we expect to see the first quarter, you know, earnings for this year. You know, this is the first earnings for this correct financial year. Yes. Don't forget that we have seen a lot of changes in our fundamental terms of the market and the economy, especially in this year. Now, the, the first quarter has come and gone. Investors are now looking at what will be the performance of this company and also the policy direction of the government has going to affect performance for for the first quarter. Mm. That's why all eyes are still up because at the end of the day, is this first quarter determine whether we're already in contraction because we have seen almost the interest rate at the peak inflation at the peak, then the GDP for first quarter will now confirm really mm. if Nigeria economy is already in contrast because because we saw a kind of a growth in last quarter 2024, mm. 2023, mm. you know, it's all, all smiling. Mm. And that's why CBN can tell you that the economy is resilient. Mm. The economy is resilient. Mm. Interest rates have gone up to the, the highest in Nigeria history. It says that until that figure comes that we're on the board for investors, because every investment is against the future. But not, not project with the backward numbers, what are the things? All eyes are still on the world the March inflation data that will come by next week on the 15th. And at the same time also, I'm going to see that this first quarter number that's coming will shape us to tell us what companies will do in the new current financial year. Mm. Because we have seen the performance of 2023 that their numbers are missed. To reflect also the last uh, you know half year of 20... Uh, uh, the, 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 when the government came on board, yeah. from the month of May last year to date, mm. you know, we have seen the end for what will the first quarter of 2024 no, look like and that's why investors are looking at where can i put my money as a result is coming now don't forget that the fixed income market remain in a bit uh, attractive because yes. of the high interest rate we are seeing also the high yield we are seeing but those that are really die players in capital market are saying that you no know, as far as the returns in the fixed income market is still negative because compared to inflation they're looking at where can i make you no know, 50 percent 40 percent in mm. equity mm. that can i be and i can stay ahead of the, the inflation that's why you see that people are doing you know postural shock like i said earlier and sector retention and also with the comparison of the banks as cbn came uh, last two uh, thursday to announce that yes also investors are looking at there's opportunity in this capitalization i'm telling you that this was going to create wealth for investors mm. because it's all you to understand 
who is going to marry who, mm. who know who is going to also mm. leave who. Yes, exactly. I <laughs> and, like and, that. and at the same time, mm. who know who is going to also at the same time then great is operation either mm. to you know national or regional or who's going to operate from national to what international. 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 Yeah. So I think, but for me, I believe that most of the banks have shown strength. If not that, I say it again that the CBN in their own you no. Know, way they already have seen the risk of you know adding a, you know retained earnings to capital group but i've seen it is not among both i tell you if you add the retained earnings most of the banks are really solid strong and yeah. also i believe that the banks also have a worth you know since they have two years time that's why any investor is panicking at this time but i saw yesterday that they were kind of profit again in the banking stock so they were seeing that trend this morning it should not panic but the banks remain the most active sector in the market and also with these activities the bank become bigger to drive our economic development for me i believe that cbn also have given a, a long time i love mm. that two years it's not just two years. Do you years. think there are some some of these banks able to meet up with that two years yes, deadline? Yeah, no, they're giving them the end of April. Give us your what, your your your, your agenda, your you know, guideline, your, you your, your deadline for for no, you know, just prepare. It's just about planning and mm. you take it gradually. And most of the banks they, they are using planning and taking action. For me, I read that they will be to achieve it, but the one they're going to swallow, let them swallow them, and it become better for Nigeria because mm. when your bank have a bigger brand can drive a bigger economy okay i need to understand how the market is still resilient despite this macroeconomic headwinds uh we are seeing that uh, um, uh we, we, we're seeing um inflation rates at what it is right now and interest rates at um, 600 basis points if we are to look at all of this now it, it, it really makes me feel like i am just wondering and asking myself what is making the nigerian capital market this resilient despite all of these volatilities i'm saying that there's a lot of opportunity in the market why no, the foreign investor has seen gradually that we're becoming stable mm. if policy will be sustained don't forget look at what is happening in the oil market mm. we are really improving our output yesterday oil price crossed 90 dollar that is a good thing for nigeria because if you compare it with our benchmark uh, our budget budget member for oil it's almost far far but we have a lot of surplus mm. for me it's how to do this surplus is what matters but don't forget that this is what inf no international investor will look at oh their reserve is Becoming robust, mm. that will not attract them. For me, the market has opportunity. That's why anybody that is planning that market is correcting, it's just wasting time. This opportunity for you to take advantage of the pullback, and but because when this foreigners start coming, look at the company in Nigeria that foreign investor will, en will enter. That's where it should be built. Because I tell you, once they are seeing that we are becoming stable, they start coming because our stock are cheap. Mm. But I tell you, the highest stock in Nigeria market is about three thousand three hundred, mm. and that's about a uh, two dollar. Uh, two dollar why you are seeing hundred dollar uh, one thousand dollar or even uh, on the u.s market that means bringing that small money to nigeria you don't want the market to work yes. the fire yes well exactly. that's why for me investors do not drop panic mm. don't forget that also the banking sector being the most regulated sector they like to invest in the market because they know that they are coming in with sector that is well regulated yes. and also look at companies like like uh, other companies where we see the whites don't forget that the whites respect the whites mm. when the white man enter nigeria today you want to see which are the companies another white man is overseeing mm. is the md or the director they want to why because they know that they have a culture but but most of our nigeria uh, companies have done well and this is them but the white man that i want to first of all look at something like nestle mm. nigeria brewery mm. guinness because they know mm. that they have affiliation from their parents country abroad yes. for that that's why as an investor look at where you see that there's opportunity that's why for me when people are calling me market is going to say ah, do you expect the market is going to go up no <laughs> this correction for us what mm. to enter mm. that means that is the beauty of capital market mm. anywhere in the world mm. most of market remain in up direction it becomes um, it must not be on one way it must come up and down but it has sold up come down by you buy more units Either you must have a goal you must have a plan mm. when you trade your plan the market is always good for you to understand it's not really like you must play market every time it's time for you to hook cash and what that's why timing is also key in equity investment let's look at stock um, um uh, stocks trading at the industrial um, um sector of the of the market now we will we, we, we've seen a kind of um um, um, project, um strong buying in the banking stocks and then we've seen a strong buying in the oil and gas stock but what's really going on in the macho manufacturing and industrial stocks what's really happening in that sector for me no like you know we are going to just push me to to those sector that people will look like uh, yes for, for me for the market sector we have seen already a little appreciation in uh, in our uh, naira. Okay. That's big volume for market sector. Don't forget that before now it is the FS losses that they are posting. Exactly. Yeah. Now that we are seeing improvement, it's a problem. That means as for second quarter, for me, the people that are thinking you know, investors that are really savvy in this market, 
It's like from those companies that has good direction and has good product that, oh, because efforts are they're going they're not going to expect to post another efforts loss mm. from second quarter if we well, you know, started in, 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 in March and it's more stable. Mm. Now, with all I've seen in oil price, we need to earn more money in our reserve. That's the plus for Fibian to also manage the, because they already started managing the intervention. Okay. Because giving to uh, UPD, uh, um, bring the change, mm. already you are intervening in the market. Yes, That's yes. why we are seeing stability. If they do more, we will not see Naira uh, vestige rate at 1,000 Naira, 900 Naira. Mm. Wow, that would be good for us. For me, it's a plus to say this is the time for that gradually going back to a sector that we have uh, the, the deserted before because that's why in the equity market, sector reduction continue. Yes. Where there's opportunity, you go. Where there's yes. opportunity, you pull you, out. You, you exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so let's wrap up now. <laughs> let, 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 let me get your thoughts on your projection on today's trading. It's the last trading um, day for the week. And then um, do you see the market to continue its downward projection or you see a slight um, um, increment like going get the market miraculously gets into a green going by all the volatility no, we're seeing? If we we'll see those high caps still getting to the mm. my seeing green mode. For me, the four days, if market loss, uh, goes in red today, it's mm. not a button. It's right. an opportunity for us to push on for next week. But good thing is that this is the first trading week for the first uh, second, second quarter of the year. Yes. And we have seen red all through. It sends a signal that it's an opportunity. Why? Pullback and correction is the beauty of the market. All right, I like that. Pullback and correction is the beauty of the market. I like, and with that, we'll end this segment of the program. I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited. Thank you so much for your time with me on the show. Thanks for having me.